I've actually already tried to make this video once, but it didn't really work. I recorded about 8 minutes worth of footage, and uh, while I was going through it and trying to edit it, I kept on going, That's not funny! What the hell? What? That doesn't make any sense. So when I went down from 8 minutes worth of footage to 2 minutes worth of footage, I thought, you know what? I think I'm going to try this again. So here we go. Charlie is so Charlie is so Charlie is so cool. So on Thursday next week, I'm going to be getting my GCSE results. <laughs> I haven't really been thinking about it, and whenever anybody mentions, you know, the word GCSE results, I get kind of freaked. But just like any other teenager from the UK, I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'll do fine, I know I'll be fine. 56k magazine. 56k magazine. If you have no idea what 56k magazine is, then uh, go check out 56kmagazine.com. It's basically just uh, a magazine written by mainly YouTubers uh, about the internet and YouTube and stuff like that. It's got lots of lovely articles in it. My first time on YouTube. Article on furries. It's, it's pretty damn funny and it's well written as well, which is, you know, miraculous. Seeing as it's written by YouTubers. All YouTubers are good for is video blogging. They can write too? What? I didn't even think they could read. The best thing about this magazine though was the free gift. It came with a Renetto mask. Now I've already cut mine out and everything, but I've actually lost it. Um, but they have got a picture of it, which you can see now. It should be coming up on your screens and you should be watching it now and then it's going to come off about now. Best thing is, I was talking to Paper Lilies and I might be able to make the masks in the future. But that's only if the magazine, you know, actually keeps going because it's possible it might not. It's only the first issue, after all. So if you want it to do well, go and buy a copy. It's only £2.50. Just check out 56kmagazine.com. What else has been going on? <gasps> Beowulf. I told you a while ago that I'm in a play called Beowulf. Well, I do have some nice news for you. Just give me a sec. Uh, one of my friends, who's also doing the play with me, has lent me one of these doohickeys. A camera recorder. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record uh, back behind the scenes kind of footage of Beowulf. Uh, the only thing is I'm not going to be able to actually do any footage of the actual performance because breaks copyright, what do you call it. But I'm going to be taking as much footage as I can and it should be cool. There is one thing though. Um, this camera... Uh, uses tapes. I don't know if that's going to be a problem when uploading it to my computer. I think I can, like, convert it. Uh, I mean, that shouldn't be too hard. But I'm a little bit worried um, that I might not be able to put anything up. Digital video cassettes. I think that means I can upload it, but I'd just... If you could just confirm that for me, that'd be great, because I am a little bit sceptical. Is that going in the right way? Ooh, I don't know. Uh... There you go. And one last thing, I hit 9,000 subscribers yesterday. I went up 1,000 subscribers in a week. 1,000 subscribers in a week. I'm going up pretty quick. This will be interesting. I think that's about it. Uh, mm. See you guys. Look, it's a little woodlouse in a ball. When I was younger, I used to actually eat woodlice. Because I thought they were raisins. Ooh, I think it's moving. Come out of your sphere, little woodlouse. Uh, I think it's kind of... dead. R.I.P. little woodlouse. He was a brave little woodlouse. He took what came in life. He did what he wanted to do. He was beautiful in everything that he did do. And oh, I think he's come back to life. Oh, cool. Yay!